Alright, hello there guys. Um, first of all, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while as I have been sorting university stuff and haven't had um, time to record a video. Um, I decided to do this video today partly because I've had problems with my Skype Elysium code, um, none of the menu or anything, um, just with the movement of the character after the menu. And I finally sorted that today. Um, finding out it was an indentation problem with this while statement here. Finding out that I'd indented it to the point of this, uh, the same uh, indentation of this for loop. So it was only running when the game was ending. And that meant when I pressed mouse keys, it didn't come up in the, it didn't change the position of the spawning rectangle. Um, but since I've fixed that, I've decided to make this video. Um, I've got one more thing I need to fix, I'm going to show that in today's video, uh, other than the fact that I um, removed the character selection part of the game code. So that I'll need to, uh, I'll need to show a, a video for and I'll do that later. Uh, so as you can see I've got my instructions and that works, if I click it, it goes to uh, the instructions, if I go back it goes to if I click back twice, it goes to credits. Click credits, it goes to credits. Actually, I just want to test that. Uh, click instructions and click back. Yeah, okay, so it does go back to the main menu. Okay, so now you can see that all of them highlight. Uh, there's a weird thing where they highlight the stuff behind, as you can see. Um, but if I click warrior, you can see I can come into here. So now if I press right, I'll move right. But if I press up, I move on an angle. And this is not what we want. Um, so, we're going to fix that. To fix that, we're going to go, so, car underscore pos underscore capital Y underscore change equals zero. So now it's not going to change on the Y axis while it's changing on the X axis. And this means we won't get the diagonal, we'll get a straight line. Um, obviously if we put it in, we want to copy and paste it into the right as well because it's, we don't want a Y position while it's moving right or we don't want a Y position while it's moving left. So we're also going to put it into the Y axis but first we need to change this. This to a capital X because it's going to be moving on the Y axis but we don't want it moving on the X axis. So that's just to set the variables back to zero. Um, Obviously, I can't stop the user while he's playing. Um, he's stuck moving because I haven't yet done a mouse uh, key up button, which I'll, I'm going to do later. Um, and that key up button will be when the key is released, the user will stop moving, and all all variables will be all movement variables will be set to zero. So now you can see if I'm pressing up, side, down, side, up side, down, side, it's only moving in a straight line and it's resetting those variables back to zero. So this is going to be fine, uh, good for the game because um, it means that the user is going to be able to move, um, possibly if they hold down two buttons, um, I could implicate that later, if they hold down two buttons it moves on a diagonal, but um, currently if you press two buttons it doesn't move, it doesn't do the, it doesn't even move at all. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's going to conclude this video. Um, I'll do another video later showing the different um, the different player uh, colors. So like obviously it's there's going to be a red rectangle for the warrior, a green rectangle for the archer, and a blue rectangle for the or square for the mage. Um, those will be changed out later for actual images. But currently, that's all they're going to be. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. And stay tuned for my later videos.